Hi everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you so so much to everybody who's listening right now in the podcast. Today is Monday, October twenty first, twenty twenty four. I wanted to come here, guys, and speak about this unfortunate event that happened at Walmart. Um, but before I continue, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who follows me on Spotify. If you haven't do- done so. Please do thank you so much to Apple Podcast, which is my biggest audience right now. And of course, thank you to the new um the new uh listeners on the Pandora app. And before I forget, thank you so much to everybody who's watching this video here on YouTube. So crazy times that we're living in, guys. Um it's been the stories that are coming out of the news, things that are actually happen. It's very crazy, disturbing in manner. Everything that's coming out regarding PTD is just disturbing. It's like really this happened in the world, right? And the crazy thing about all of this is that a lot of these stories, it's almost like we knew, but because they're so bizarre, we were like, oh, that's really, it's just made up stuff, right? Um, One thing I'm going to say is that as we get closer and closer to November, right? And you guys know the U the US is preparing for this big event that's coming up first week in November. Please guys remember that God God doesn't like idol worship, okay? And also don't put your trust on men. Okay? People say a lot of things to get you to go their way and then they turn on you. And really our only hope is Jesus Christ, okay? Just remember that guys. Um so here's a crazy story, guys. A disturbing death happened at a can a, in Canada at a Walmart. So it's living. It's you know. Let me give you a warning before I continue because um I don't want you guys to be listening and to be shocked by what I'm gonna say. It could be very morbid. Okay. Um. So it happens here. Mm-hmm. It, a Walmart employee, a 19 year old uh, Walmart employee, was found deceased. And this happened in a Nova Scotia Walmart, like I told you guys. It says here Walmart says it's currently supporting its associates with access to 24 7 care and provide on site support regarding grief and counseling. They say that right now they're not really commenting on the manner. But they are investigating, and that Walmart has been closed ever since. But here's the shocking news about that. Let me give you um the details about it. I do apologize. He says here, okay, that an employee was found trapped at a walking oven at a Walmart in Halifax, okay? First of all, when I heard that, I was like, what? I didn't even know that Walmart has ovens, you know, massive production ovens like that. Um, the Walmarts that I, that I uh, you know, that I have in my area, they're very basic, you know? Um, but the thing, I, I know there are a lot, a lot of superstores and big Walmarts, that they sell food and things like that. So I think, um, you know, may, in, in, also this is in Canada, right? So they might be a little different. But this is just crazy because not long ago, you guys, I don't know if you remember it. I do apologize because I'm searching right now to give you more details. Mm-hmm. Not long ago, a couple, of, I will say maybe a month ago, um, we learned about the Wells Fargo employee. I think he was found or she was found um, dead in the office like a week after. Okay. Um, and then we learned about a, a, a nursing home patient that was actually found dead in the closet. Okay. And I told you guys many times that if you have a loved one, you know, it doesn't have to be an elderly, right? Because I know there's a lot of institutions for like young, younger um, people too that deal with like mental health and all of that. If you have a, a, a any loved one in any of these care facility, guys, check on your loved ones, okay? 
if you cannot be there every day, you can pay somebody. People right now, you know, a lot of people are looking for ways to make some extra, extra income. You can train somebody for them to go at least for one hour to go for dinner time with your loved one. Anything like that will help um, so that way they can give you feedback, okay? Um, you can also, like, um, I do apologize for any noise that you might hear. Like, if you cannot be there or you live far away, like I said, find somebody, train them, a, lo- a family member, another family member, or, like, um, a, a, a friend that's looking to make some extra cash or something, just for one hour so they can go and be your eyes and ears and see any change in behavior, okay? Um, there's a lot of people right now, I'm going to say this before I give you the details of what, what happened at this Walmart. There's a lot of people, guys, right now who are taking any jobs, okay, for the need of making some type of income, meaning that they're just there, you know, you, you hear these people say, oh, that's not my job, so I'm not going to check on somebody that's not on my list, okay? Oh, that's not my job, so I'm not going to do this. And... This there's a lot of cross training that happens in workplaces these days because the economy how bad it is, right? So people are put into positions that they probably never done before. So this is what I think happened here with the guy, with the person who died inside the oven, trapped inside the oven. Is is either you know I'm not, I don't know the details, but excuse me, I'm gonna tell you. Is either somebody who's recently hired or somebody who was cross trained? or was covering that day, obviously, for that person who didn't come or to the kitchen or something, who was out that day. So check on your people. If you have any loved one at any institution, a lot of people, you know, now they're allowing cell phones being used, uh, workplaces, people are distracted. Okay, the, the love of many has grown cold. People don't care anymore. They're just there to make a living. So if you don't show your face and you're not you're not going and you're not shaking on your loved one, you know you have to be the advocate for for your loved one. So show up and be present. Um, we're living in crazy times, guys. There's a lot of people too dealing with mental health. Okay. There's a lot of people who leave their home. They might be having a battle at home with their marriage or like the kids or whatever, the economic crisis, and they go to these jobs just trying to make a living. They they don't want to hear you complaining to them. They don't want to hear anybody telling them what to do. And it's almost like it's causing a triggering effect on the workplace that people just don't care. You know, that employee at the Wells Fargo, she was there for how many days? I mean, shame on that company, okay? Like, the the Bible says in the last days, the love of many will grow cold. Nobody cares anymore. Um, It's very hard and very hard to find a company that actually cares for you. So it says here that woman employee in Nova Scotia was cooked to death inside a walking oven. What a horrible death, okay? It actually sounds, you know, I'm not trying to get any take any dignity from what happened to this person but it actually sounds like a halloween horror movie so it says here that i'm telling you know they're being very cautious with this story for obvious reason uh, let me see if i can get you real more information here Because I know, um, I know that the title is very um, graphic and morbid, like I said, but they're saying here, officials with Halifax Regional Police and Walmart Canada are remaining tight lips. See, they, they are keeping it quiet. I could tell, I could tell because this story, and, the, and I know it's very graphic, I, like I know that, that's why I gave you a trigger warning. Uh, but they're very, they're, because it, it's involving like a big corporation too. And, you know, labor, labor uh, safety is going to be compl- obviously so involved. So the, the details about the death here, 
is being kept quiet because, you know, there's going to be a huge lawsuit coming out of that. You're kidding me? Safety concerns for your employees. That's a big deal. And like I said, a, a lot of companies are trying to eliminate costs. So if somebody, you know, instead of training new people, they have one person working, like just say, the same kitchen for years, thinking that that person will never get sick or ever want to take PTO. And it's like, really, you have to um, hire somebody just specifically for that so that they can be there every every time to l- learn how things operate, right? And not just get like a, a cashier to go back in and work the kitchen, right? Obviously, I don't know like the details exactly what happened here, but because I work in retail for so many years, I can tell you like, um, I remember working for um it was it's so chaotic one time. I remember working I worked for a store and I used to do the the mannequins, dress up the mannequins and doing science and other stuff but never registered. I was never a registered person. One time it got so busy they called me to the register and it's like I made things worse because that's really not you know, I was never trained to do that. Right? And they're like you no, I don't. I don't. Excuse me. I don't know how to work the register, right? Like I don't. I can help you back, but I really don't. I would not be be able to help the line at all. Like, what am I gonna do with the with the computer? I don't know. You know where to put the coupons, how to put the codes. I don't know any of that stuff, right? And it's as simple as that because, yes, working the register is not hard, but you can just expect somebody to just get it in that moment it takes you know that's why people go to orientation and training so the same thing a lot of retail company they cross train a lot and what happened with that is like you can be trained for something that you might do just one day and then a year from now they're like oh can you help with that I remember we trained on that you're like yeah but I need you know that was like when I first started I don't know you know things change I don't know how things are now so who knows maybe this person who died in the oven right trapped in the oven in the beginning perhaps they were shown how to properly operate everything how to close the door how to not get yourself locked in by mistake how to do all the safety things but perhaps that person never it was only shown to them but it wasn't really like their field or their higher department and then they were just shown that like that one time, like I said, and now they expect them to like know exactly what to do when they're actually doing it. Could be months after, there could be a big time gap in between that. So there's a lot of things that you can see. And if in like what I'm saying about uh, nursing homes and like mental health facilities, that if that if stuff like this happen at retail stores, right? Imagine like. Everybody goes to training every workplace that you go to, right? Unless you're hired specifically to do just one thing. And like, like, let's just say like a teller. They only do like, they deal with money and customers, right? That's different. They will never be told to like clean feeding homes, right? That they, will, they don't have that. But when you work in multi, in a lot of places that have different departments, there is a lot of room for mistake when you don't have enough staff, staff and you want to cross train in the moment, especially dealing with cooking, right? There could be an issue with the type of ingredients, you know, that you do, right? A cook that perhaps work at Walmart for so many years and takes a, a day off and then they get somebody new there trying to do the, the cooking for that day. Of course, they're going to make mistakes, right? So, the company needs to need to look into that. Um, and I'm sure they know that. And the thing is, like, it's all about profit and how much can be done with the less work workforce, um, right? So it says here that police were first called to Walmart on Moffat Road on Saturday at around 9.30 p.m. for a report of a sudden death. And they did put it on coke, okay? It says here, a 19-year-old woman died at a Walmart in Halifax over the weekend. In an update on Monday, the force said the 19-year-old woman who was an employee by the store was found dead. And then it says here, police did not release further further details on the 
Circumstances surrounding the Despo say the investigators are working closely with occupational health and safety as well as Nova Scotia medical examine to determine the cause and manner of death, okay? It says here, multiple sources. Listen, this is the graphic part, guys. Um, multiple sources are saying to the news. This is why this is like a, this is a news that's being kept private in when it comes to like the details with this. I know, like I said, it's very graphic, but if you start searching right now on the internet, it's going to be very hard for you to find the details. But people are speaking, right? Because Walmart is a big company. You know, not, you will never find, sometimes it seems as though there's only one person working there. But once you get to the front, then you see like a lot of more people, right? But to have a Walmart open, regardless the size of it, it's never one employee, right? So people are going to speak. So the news are going to get out regardless of how tight they want to keep the details, right? Multiple sources are saying to the news the incident involved a large baking oven that was on at that time. At 9.30 p.m. this past Saturday, okay, an employee at a Walmart in Halifax was killed inside the large baking oven. So it says here that Walmart uh, Canada nor their police will confirm any details surrounding what transpired, including about an oven or the woman that was found. A spokesperson for the company said that they are working for police and out of the respect of the associate and the family, they cannot provide any additional information. And that's great. Like, I'm not trying to, like, know the, the, the identity of the person. It's a sudden death like that. It's a tragic death. Like I said, it's horrible for somebody to to go through something like this, right? Um, and they're not releasing anything. I think also the company is covering themselves too. Like I said, um, this is a safety issue right there, okay? When, you, when you're talking about a large baking oven and being trapped in it, um... Excuse me, unless it's it's not really like a a crime like somebody went and there was an assailant that they had a suspect in on, on custody, nothing like that. So just from learning about more details about it, obviously, it's a labor safety issue here that happened. Okay. It should have never happened. Okay, I know they're gonna release more details once the investigation is done. At the end of the day, um if there's a safety issue, a labor safety issue, and that's involved, involved, involved excuse me, is involving a huge corporation as we know it. So they're saying Walmart confirmed that it will not open to the public on Monday and did not provide the day of when the store will reopen. Oh, that is so tragic. And I'm not, I'm not gasping because of they're not going to open. Obviously, I'm gasping because I cannot. Is traumatizing for the family members, right? And for the co-workers, for everybody, um, people, people, I don't know, like, I don't, you know, we can go on in our minds and thinking that they hear screaming or anything like that. It's just horrific. It's tragic and it's so unfortunate, you guys. So they're close to Walmart. They're, they're, they're not saying when they're going to open, they're going to investigate, and they're not releasing any information about the victim. So it's just sad. So keep the family in your prayers. If anything comes out of this, like, um, you know, more details, I may do a second video. But like I said, you guys, um, just, you know, be aware of the places that you go to. Um be aware, like, um, let's just say you're getting some type of um, service, right? It could be anything. We all get service. We get our car service. We get we get things in our home being service. We get a bunch of services, right? Our, you know, we can get some type of treatment done. If you feel in your gut, right? Because I'm saying, like, people are working a lot of the times these days. People are just working to make a living. And they're just rushing through jobs, right? They're leaving out details. They're 
they're not even like paying so much attention everybody's distracted everybody like i told you before in one of my previous video it seems as though everybody wants a fortune 500 company because everybody's constantly looking on their phones right so it's an it's almost like it's a big addition right so if you go and get any type of service and you feel in your gut that it wasn't done right a lot of the times it probably wasn't done right so you need to listen to that and just you know speak about it right um i know a lot of people are allergic to certain foods and you know eating the food that you're allergic to can cause very damaging things to you i made a video about somebody who who drank a coffee i think it was or had chocolate right now i made a video about that not long ago and that person actually lost their life right because they put the, an ingredient that she was allergic to in the cup that's the type of stuff that i'm referring to so just think about that and, and if you feel if you feel that feeling in your gut speak about it okay so thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel and you know before i finish if you i know we don't know the name of the young woman who passed in this walmart incident but we can you know god knows who she is right so pray about it pray for her family and also pray for that community and her co-workers okay thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel thank you for listening to the podcast have a good day god bless